Hey guys, so I'm back to do my weight loss video for you guys. So when I did my life update video, everybody was asking me to do a weight loss video, which I expected that to be honest with you. So obviously I knew I was going to have to make this video once I told you guys that I lost 46 pounds. Before I get into the weight loss video, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about my life update and just thank everybody once again for the support and, you know, just sharing your stories with me. And I've said this on Snapchat, so I'm sorry for constantly repeating myself, but you guys just don't know how much it means to me and how much it has impacted me by you guys sharing your stories and just being so open and honest with me. Um, it just made me feel so good. The amount of support that I've received from, you know, that video alone has been overwhelming to say the least. I have been trying to keep up with your messages and your comments and DMs and emails and literally it just, it feels so good to have so many people have my back. I'm glad that I could share my story with you guys and help you not feel alone. So with that said, let's move on to how I lost 46 pounds. Okay, so I started my weight loss journey I want to say in around April, I was at my heaviest. I don't like to talk about numbers. Honestly, numbers freak me out. At least like the the number on the scale, it freaks me out. And I know it's like a trigger for a lot of people. So I don't want to talk about the number on the scale. I'll talk about how much I lost and all of that. But as far as the number, just because everybody has, you know, different body type and height and all of that. So just want to put that out there. Also... Also, as a disclaimer, I am not a professional. I I did what worked for me. I mean, that's all I can say about that. I might get a lot of backlash from this too, as far as how I lost weight. But like I said, I did what worked for me. And I'm just going to share my tips with you and tell you exactly what I did. I started my weight loss journey back in April. It was a very slow start. Uh, but everything kicked into high gear in around I want to say in June in June everything like totally kicked into high gear for me and I was just on a mission I know a lot of you want me to say that I took like this magic pill and it all came off but sadly that's not what happened so first I want to talk about my diet because that's basically how I lost so much so quickly is because I was super strict with my dieting and I did work out but I'll get into the workout later but as far as dieting goes this is basically what I did most of you know that I have hypothyroidism so I have a slow metabolism as it is so for me I gain weight really quickly and and there are a bunch of other symptoms that come along with it but the main thing is just gaining weight very very easily so as far as dieting I just was really really strict Monday through Saturday and all I would eat was protein and veggies. And Sundays would be my cheat days. So let me kind of give you guys a rundown of what like a day of eating looked, looked slash looks like for me. Because I'm still on this journey. For breakfast, I am not a breakfast person at all. But I knew that I had to get something in me. So whether I was craving maybe something really small or big, if it, if it was small, it would be either tangerines, like a couple tangerines and some almonds. If I wanted to have, like honestly, if I wanted to have a little bit of carb, sometimes I would. Most of the time, like nine times out of ten, I was not having carbs during the week whatsoever. I was so strict with myself. Like I said, if it was a light breakfast, I would do maybe some fruit and some almonds. And that would kind of like start me off. Or I would do like a protein shake. And I would do like lean whey proteins just so that it wasn't like too many calories. And I would mix it with either water or almond milk. And then I would also have a little bit of fruit so that I, wasn't, I wouldn't feel like I was starving. But if I wanted like more of a hearty meal... I would buy the chicken apple sausage and it was like the organic Ardell's Ardell chicken apple sausage and my favorite is the artichoke and garlic and I would do half a sausage well at the beginning I would do a whole sausage but as I started losing weight I would like cut down on my portions so at the beginning I was eating like a, a whole sausage and I would just chop it up saute it then I would do two eggs one yolk 
and then I would do some type of veggie, whether it was zucchini. Sometimes I would do a little bit of sweet potato, but not often. So protein and veggies, and that would be my breakfast. And then I, would, I always have salsa on hand. I love spicy food. So I put chile on my food, on, on my breakfast bowl. I would do the chile on top. And then I actually like eating my uh, sunny side up eggs with a little bit of lemon so then I would like sprinkle lemon on top and it was like the perfect salty and sour combination because I love salty and sour <laughs> but that would be like my go-to breakfast if I wanted a hearty breakfast I'm not really an oatmeal girl I'm not an, a yogurt girl for the most part like my breakfast was always the same thing either like I said the, a light breakfast or the hearty breakfast so that's kind of how my breakfast would go and that's how it does go and for lunch I would do either chicken steak fish pretty much any protein that you want really and then a veggie on the side. And I put a lot of flavor in my veggies because I can't do bland food and I can't cut salt out of my diet. There's just no way. I personally just, I can't do it. I'm a foodie. I like, I love food. And so if my food is gross, then I'm going to be really depressed. And so I made sure to, you know, not overdo it on the salt, but I still had salt in my food because I needed it to taste good. Dinner was the same thing protein and veggies and literally that's how my eating was for six months up until now that's basically how it's been I know that it gets really hard on the weekends and when I would go to family functions or whatnot I would try to still eat that way I would avoid carbs and I would you know how if you go to a party they have like fruit tray and veggie tray I would pick very lightly and I know it's hard for people to have that mentality to be strict with themselves but I wanted it so bad I wanted to lose the weight so bad that nothing was gonna get in my way no matter how bad I wanted to eat the hot Cheetos and how bad I wanted to eat you know like the chips and salsa like I wasn't gonna do it as far as drinking went I know a lot of people are gonna be like well how did you lose weight if you were drinking so if Saturday rolled around and I knew I was gonna go out on a Saturday I would eat very 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 light during the day I would do like my light breakfast and then a light lunch and then nine times out of 10, I would do maybe like half a protein shake before I went out because I knew that I was gonna be drinking. And so when I did drink, I would do like vodka and water because that has like the least calories and then lemon. You know, like that song? When I heard this part in the song, I was like, that's my drink. Okay. <laughs> That was my drink of choice vodka water and a lemon and so yeah like that's kind of how I dealt with that but like I said it's no secret just protein and veggies as far as the amounts honestly like if you're overeating you're not gonna lose weight you have to portion your meals if you need to get a scale to you know portion out your protein and your veggies you know get a scale so that it can help you I pretty much know how much I should be eating and I know like what's gonna keep me satisfied I never got full because I knew that if I was getting full I wasn't gonna lose weight and then I drank a ton of water like drinking so much water is key and if you've watched weight loss videos before you know that this like everybody tells you this you you need to drink a crap ton of water like there's just no way you're gonna de-bloat yourself if you don't drink a lot of water if you guys want to know exactly like what I avoided I avoided carbs I avoided sugar except for from except from fruits some fats unless I was getting like natural fats from like steak or whatever carbs some fats sugar uh, dairy um, and just making sure that I didn't overdo it on the calories I wish I could give you guys like a number but a fair estimate I was eating between like a thousand and fifteen hundred calories a day sometimes I'm not gonna lie you guys know what I'm going through so some days I was eating less just because of stress and anger or whatever some days I wasn't eating too much and I it's not healthy to do that it's not uh, but it's just the reality of what I was going through so I did want to put that out there so that's basically it for my diet like no secrets, no nothing. So as far as working out, I just did a lot of cardio. I did at least 45 minutes to an hour of cardio like four times a week. And 
it usually was the elliptical or the stairmaster and i aimed to burn like 400 to 600 calories every time i worked out i mean i know sometimes it's hard to get in the gym so that's why i'm saying like your diet is very important there were weeks that i didn't go to the gym at all and i was still losing like one to two pounds in one week i still have a lot of work to do i need to tone and like I said, lose some more because I just, there's a certain way that I personally want to look. Personally, like just doing cardio and then weight training afterward is really what just like helped me. But more than anything, girl, it was my diet. Like my diet just really took me to where I wanted to get. I feel like I want to tell you guys more, but there's nothing else that I was doing. It was just that. Now I'm a little bit more lax, you know, I go out here and there and I'll just, you know, eat um, what I'm wanting and... I haven't gained any weight, which I'm really happy about, but I want to start again, so this girl's going to get on it. I do want to say that, you know, as far as motivation, just think about where you want to be. Constantly think about what you want to look like, what you want, as, what you want to accomplish as far as your goals go, and just go for it. Think about it all the time, because when you picture in your mind what you want, most of the time it happens. And so I was just always picturing what I wanted, just always picturing what I wanted. And it just, things started hap happening for me. Follow some fitness pages, maybe on Instagram. The only one that I actually really, really love is the, it's called like gym glutes or something like that, because I'm obsessed with butts. And so, like, following this page just, like, makes my day when I see these girls with their butts. I'm like, I want a butt! Oh, gym glutes. Yeah, so it's gym glutes. I literally love this page. This page keeps me motivated. Like, girl, you need to follow it right now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I wish you guys luck on your fitness journey. If you're just starting, you know, it's going to be a slow process, but you know, you got this. You got this. You're in control of your life. You're, con you're in control of your goals. You can do it. The only person holding you back is you. Go for it. Go for it and achieve your goals. Take it one day at a time. Don't get discouraged. I know that I was getting discouraged some, some weeks when it was just going really slow or if nobody noticed that I had lost weight, I would get discouraged. But once like all the weight came off or most of it came off and I was getting like feedback from friends and family like, oh my gosh, you look so good, this and that. It just like motivated me even more. So just keep going and I'm always here if you guys want to talk. I'm always here if you guys want to reach out, ask for advice, you know, maybe we can you know, hit each other up and, you know, you could tell me what workout you've been doing for the week that has been working for you and vice versa. And so just know that you're not going through this journey alone. And again, I wish you luck. Let me know if you guys want to see like a, like an in-depth food plan video. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a pro, but maybe I could do something fun for you guys like that. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them down there for me because, you know, I'm always answering your questions. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!